Maporomoko, hey, ya maji. Twandeni, Maporomoko, hey, ya maji. Karibu ni sana Tanzania, Maporomoko, hey, ya maji. Karibu ni sana Tanzania, Maporomoko ya maji in Kiswahili means waterfall. And today I am in one of the hidden gems, an amazing attraction here in Lushoto in Tanzania. Now Lushoto is one of the district here in the Tanga region in northeastern Tanzania and it's definitely a place you should visit whenever you come to Tanzania. So you want to watch this video till the end. I'll be exploring more of this amazing place and you get to see some of the amazing and beautiful and absolutely stunning landscapes here in Tanzania. So if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni sana, Tanzania! Welcome to Inspire for Travel. There are many beautiful and amazing places in Tanzania which is certainly worthwhile visiting. We often hear about the coast on Zanzibar, the beautiful white sandy beaches. We also hear about Kilimanjaro mountains and taking that amazing hike to the mountain top. However, there are many other places which is certainly worth your time visiting. And as I sit under the shade of the coconut tree, thinking about the words I've just told you, the key Swahili or Swahili phrase comes to mind. Nyumba nzuri, si mlango, fungua uengie ndani. A good house is not its door, open and go inside. Today we'll be exploring Lushoto, an area in the Tanga region in Tanzania. Lushoto is one of the districts of the Tanga region in Tanzania. It is bordered to the northeast by Kenya, to the east by Muheza district, to the northwest by Kilimanjaro region, and to the south by Korogwe district. The district capital and largest town is Lushoto. Okay, today we are on an amazing journey here in Lushoto. Now in my view, a visit to Tanzania is definitely incomplete if you haven't visited Lushoto. Now this is one of the most mountainous regions here in the Tanga region and of course Lushoto is a district in the Tanga region and of course I can see why once upon a time the Germans many of them settled in this parts of uh, Tanga because immediately I noticed the difference in the temperature in this region is much more cool in comparison to the heat you may get in Tanga City or even Dar es Salaam and other places the weather here is definitely more moderate and in the evening times it even gets a bit more a little cold actually you may need a light jacket as well so that type of weather will be more favorable for people who is coming I guess from Europe and other places who don't like to be too much in the heat but it's definitely a beautiful region it has Mount, many mountains the Usambara mountains of course is in this district you have the west side and the east side and of course you also find waterfalls in this region as well so definitely beautiful right now we're walking towards the uh, bus station where of course you can get buses to go back to Tanga Dar es Salaam and other places but this, these are less, the local businesses in the area One of the things I notice when I visit many towns in Tanzania, you'll always have like a central spot where many of the buses terminate and you can get a bus to other parts of the country, which is always good. And near the bus terminal here, or bus standy, you'll find many guest houses 
located near here as well which is quite convenient especially if you are traveling to other places in the morning you can quickly get to the bus terminal and get your buses to wherever you're going but wow guys look at the amazing greenery the trees the mountainous vibe that's here it's really lovely i'm liking it so this is the bus terminal Within the Lushoto district, you will find the Usambara Mountains. Indeed, these mountains has great stories to tell. In fact, the entire region. It is home to great ecologists, great farmers, great doctors, lawyers, and it even had royal families in that region, and other marvelous and remarkable people. For example, the Kilindi dynasty was an indigenous Tanzanian royal kingdom of the Shamba people, which descendants can still be found in the region today. The dynasty was founded by King Mbega, who settled in the Usambara mountains and united the Shamba people. The record stated he did this in the first half of the 18th century. However, oral traditions of the Shamba people stated that this could have been well earlier before that time period so here is the local market place here in Lushoto now one of the things you'll notice when you come to this region or this part here this district Swahili is spoken but you also hear another you hear another language Kisamba and you have many people from the Samba community that lived in this district and you have another district like Handeni where you will find a lot of people from the Zigua community so it's very interesting when you travel you know people from different communities live in different places so it's very interesting most of the time people think about Tanzania they just think Swahili and of course that's the unifying language of the country but there are over a hundred tribes here and some people still preserve their languages and they have unique culture but of course people still respect each other and embrace each other's culture here and I guess Swahili really helped because people can understand each other that's like the unifying language So in this area, of course, it's predominantly Muslim, but you still find people who follow the Christian faith. And one of the things the German did when they came here, they set up various missions in the area, church missions that is, and you still see signs of what they did today. Some of them are still in operation. And we're coming up to one right now. During the German colonial period, the Germans chose to call the area of Lushoto Wilhelmstal, which means Williams Valley. The colonial period was from the 1890s to 1918. The area was indeed popular with settlers, hence the German place of the name Wilhelmstal. Large farms and plantations were created, and the district was valued for its pleasant mountain climate. Numerous church missions were created, and some of them remain active today. These are clearly 
grave, a grave site, and these will have been the fact that I'm seeing crosses here. Perhaps some of the Germans and people who supported them are buried here. It's just a small one, but I've seen quite a few of them dotted around the area here in Lushoto when I was on my way coming. So in Kiswahili church is Kanisa. And this is one of the churches in the area here. St. Patrick's. And what you'll find is many of these uh, churches and buildings that were set up they were strategic in creating schools as well for some of the people i guess it may have been for people who supported them in the past so there are schools here that you will find also Now, you notice some people are wearing jackets. And like I was saying, like today I'm wearing a t-shirt. I didn't come with a jacket, but I'm realizing that, yeah, there's a temperature change coming up to the mountains, most definitely. And it kind of has a feel like the weather like in Kenya. You know, like in the Kikuyu lands that kind of temperature it's not that very hot right now so for people who can't bear the heat too much that, that you may experience in Dar es Salaam or other places you definitely appreciate the cooler climate here in Lushoto tell this is a very colonial style building the fact that it has like a porch or a veranda outside these styles were quite popular with the colonials when they were living here once upon a time how about this you know? Guys, it's a really wonderful feeling here. I'm feeling like I'm walking back in time because all these buildings definitely tells a history of the place once upon a time. And of course, I can tell with how the layout of this part of Le Choteau is here, there would have been a very organized section well planned 
section here in terms of the houses and the position of how things are I can tell it was really well structured so this is the Le Choteau post office poster and of course they have a Western Union here I'm also seeing our ATM on that side So this is another hotel again, Lushoto High Park Hotel. Quite a few hotels I'm seeing dotted around the place. Definitely so. I mean, if you come here, you ain't got to worry about accommodation. It's definitely available. And over the years, I can see a lot of investments have been made to ensuring there's more accommodation in the area. So this is great. So guys, when you do come to Tanzania, consider Lushoto. Now one of the mainstay or uh, work you see many people doing in this area is farming. Many people are farmers. Plots of land are found throughout the region and you'll find people selling, I'm not selling but planting things like maize, yeah that's corn, beans, you have bananas, different things. The soil is very rich in this region. So these are all the things you'll see here. And just look at this amazing view, guys. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Another thing to consider, this region is a very is hilly. You know, if you go to some parts like in Tanga, even Dar es Salaam, it's flat. But here, it's really, it's a hillside. So, if you're not a fan of hills, just be, be aware of that when you do come. But it's good exercise. Wow, wow, wow. They call it, some people say Lesotho is the Switzerland of Africa. Or it can be the other way around. Switzerland is the Lushoto of Europe. But be that as it may, mountainous vibe and I like it. An interesting feature of the kings of the Kilindi kingdom was the fact that they were known as Simba Mweni, which translates as Lion King. Considering the amazing mountainous region, its beautiful plateaus, greenery, waterfalls, and the array of animals and the biodiversity of the region, this may have been the place where they got the inspiration to write Lion King. off by the Boda Boda and now I'm going deep in now this really is the treasure and the jewel of this jewel uh, journey here to Lushoto and it's to see the waterfalls okay so we're gonna check this out today hopefully I'll find it I haven't been here in a very long time so let's see if we'll find it today but you will definitely want to watch this video till the end because the journey we're going on together is worth it Tukapamoja, together we can. Okay guys, so we're walking together and like I was saying, one of the main state of the economy here in Lushoto and what you'll find a lot of the local do is farming. As you can see right here, I'm actually walking through the maize field as we're going down to see the waterfalls. Now in Kiswahili, waterfall is Maparamoko Maparamoko Yamaji. So we're gonna ch be checking that out today. How about you, Dad? Yeah. 
someone was saying to me recently they want to see how some of the farming is like here in Tanzania well you're seeing some of it right now and maize is definitely a very important uh, part of the diet here in Tanzania because it's used to make ugali from the maize flour they use the flour to make ugali so that's important guys that's uh, so easy where am I? look at this amazing view guys this is absolutely stunning and you can see I'm, I'm not sure if you can see we're already seeing glimpses of the waterfall right there but it's beautiful now the, the farmers will of course see this every day guys farming farming and gain the opportunity to see this beautiful uh, atmosphere is absolutely amazing most definitely One of the things when you're coming here, it's very important to have a good pair of uh, shoes. And, and at, at least that your shoes has a good grip. I'm fortunate that today it's not that, it's not raining or anything like that. So it's not slippery as such, but still it's important to um, have good shoes. But you will see, I mean, some of the kids and some people who live here, I mean, they walk, they're, they're, they're accustomed to this terrain. So, I mean, you'll see some of them in slippers, you know, so you do find that. But what an amazing place to farm, guys. I mean, really, this is absolutely beautiful to be farming and there's the sound of the waterfall. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. This is some of the beauty of Tanzania, natural beauty. Sometimes um, we get carried away by showing high skyscrapers and paved roads and maybe restaurants and stuff like that. But that's all good, you know, I'm not knocking that. But at the same time, we cannot forget the natural beauty of this amazing country here in Tanzania and the continent of Africa in general. So this is like the terrain where I'm going down. Some of the local kids in the area decided to walk with me, which is great. <laughs> so, wow. So we're seeing some uh, banana trees here as well wow guys look at this hear the sound of that waterfall
this is definitely worth the walk and certainly worth the journey coming to Lushoto. Wow! It's like a Garden of Eden here. Hidden in the midst of all the vegetation and the corn maze and the trees. Let me show you if I can. Let me show you a glimpse from the top. Wow. This is amazing. Breathtaking and beautiful, guys. Listen to the sound of that. Turn in. So this is really not far from the bus station when you get off in Lushoto, the main bus terminal. So you can get a border border to this place. It's only around 2,000 Tanzanian shillings. And what's amazing about it, the journey is free. How about you, man? I said, man. So I did said it's it's free. However, that's up to a certain point. Okay. Um, for the rest of the journey, you they, they they will ask like if you really want to go close, like where I'm going, they do ask for some money. And. He asked me for El Futano, which is 5,000 Tanzanian shillings, but I managed to talk with him and he organized it for El Futatu, which is 3,000 Tanzanian shillings. So it's probably, that's probably around 2 US dollars or 1 pound 50 pence or something like that. So. A reasonable price so look at this amazing waterfall guys let's get close whoa amazing 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 wow 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 and, it, and this will follow the stream goes right down and there's a river further down and I guess you'll find people washing and different things like that. But this is absolutely amazing, guys. Wow. Lushoto, you've really outdone yourself today. This is impressive. This is beautiful. Whoa. Woo. This is amazing, guys wow you have to be here to experience this so if it's one for you gotta visit Lushoto you have to check out the waterfalls absolutely amazing wow and there's a nice breeze to it as well Woo! I'm enjoying this you look uh, you, you guys have to experience this with me What's interesting as well, they've got other little mini waterfalls over there. So this is like, this one here you're seeing. is the biggest one. Okay. 
and I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see, but literally, there's like a rainbow. Like the end of the rainbow is right here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see on the camera. For those who have been to maybe the Caribbean islands before and you're used to seeing waterfalls, it reminds me of those, uh, those waterfalls in the islands. And it's only me. Wow, I came on a good day. I have this entire beautiful place. Well, we, because you're enjoying it with me. We have it all to ourselves, guys. Wow, I'm loving this adventure we're on together, guys. Now you can see the water flows down here. And I will go on further down to the area. This is really natural beauty, guys. Right here in Lushoto. It's a very peaceful and tranquil place. You know, like, this could, this could be a day trip if you just want to come and if you just want some time for yourself or just to have a think and relax without the disturbance of some of the conveniences of the modern world, you can definitely try here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing banana trees. People are even farming down there. It's amazing guys that's why this region here is breathtaking i can see why the germans a lot of them lived here once upon a time a strategic location very cool weather beautiful landscapes rich and fertile soil amazing and breathtaking waterfalls this is stunning guys So, so there's more to Tanzania than just the beach. They do have 
natural nature vibe here, man. You know, sometimes when you think of Tanzania, you mightn't think of waterfalls, but it's available. Look at the size of these rocks. I mean, the formation of them. You can tell this area is a very... I need to be careful on this side. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yep. Yeah. Gotta get my rock jumping skills on. And where we go? Whoa. Wow. We did it. Whoa. And I'm on it. Wow. So this is more of where the water will be flowing towards down there. And if you can see over there on the left, I'll try if you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. But there's some people farming over there. I guess they're working on the uh, banana trees and different things in the area. And you can see what I said about the region is very mountainous. Look at this crab, guys. Wow, when you're in nature, the things you see. When you're in nature, the things you see. Look at this crab. Just carefully strolling. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. So we're back to the top. And there's a little seating area right here. Nothing fancy, but it does the trick. So you can sit and uh, enjoy the amazing view of the waterfall here, guys. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, we definitely went on an, an, on an adventure together today in Lushotu and I do trust that you have enjoyed the adventure and definitely Lushotu has a lot to offer in terms of nature tourism and the natural beauty of the place of course there are the local markets and stuff if you're interested in seeing that but one of the most amazing thing about this place is certainly its natural beauty so definitely when you are in Tanzania don't give it a miss visit Lushotu. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. Karibuni sana Tanzania, karibuni sana Lushoto. Mwenyezi Mungu akubariki. Kwa hereni